Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle and today we have a weekly makeup basket. I will do this weekly for the rest of 2020 and starting in 2021 I will do it monthly because I think that's the best for me personally. Um, yeah, I'm wearing my Gremlins t-shirt. Funny movie. Love this shirt. Wear it all the time. My hair and makeup is not the best today. They just wouldn't be helpful. So that's my casual look for this video. And yeah, this is my makeup basket. Usually don't store it like this, but it's what I have. I will start out with my eyebrow products and I have three. The first one is the L'Oreal Plump and Set Brow Artist. It's a clear brow gel. It's what I use in my brows now and only this. Love it. They hold super great. Yeah, have a backup of have I have a backup backup of it already. The next one is the H&M Superfine Brow Liner in the shade Caramel Brown. This is not Caramel Brown, it's more of a taupey brown, which fits me perfectly. I have blonde hair, so that's what I prefer. And then I have the ABH Brow Pen in taupe, and this is more of a Caramel Brown, quite ironically, actually, but yeah. This one works. I do love the product, but I would love it if it was more of a cool tone shade. So yeah. Next up I have my mascaras. I have four. I have one lash primer and three black mascaras. The lash primer is from Lacombe. It's the Seals Booster XL. Favorite one. We'll repurchase once it's done. Love it. Then I have the Kat Von B Go Big or Go Home mascara in Trooper Black. Like it. It's good. Not my favorite one, but it works fine. Then I have the Maybelline Lash Sensational in Intense Black. Use it for my bottom lashes. Love it. Will repurchase always. And yeah. The last one is the Lancome Hypnose Mascara, my favorite one. This is just a deluxe sample. And yeah, we'll always repurchase this one. Then for eyeliner, I only have one in this week. I have the Chorus Black Volcanic Minerals Long Lasting Eyeliner in 01 Black. Don't have that much left of it, but I only use it to tight line, so this will take forever. For my primers, I have three. I have the Smashbox and the Hood Hoodwitch Photo Finish Crystal Clarity Primer Water in the Sun Lavender and Sweet Orange. It's almost done. I do love this one and I wish they would come back with this. So yeah, I do love the original one as well. Then I have the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. And I do like this one, but for the winter time I need to pair it up with the Smashbox Primerizer because this one isn't hydrating enough, but these two are a great combination. And yeah, love it. For foundation, I have one stick foundation in this week, and it's the Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation in F1. It's, I think it's one of the lightest shades, and yeah, it's my my shade. A little bit too light at the moment. It's what I'm wearing it works. I have two concealers 
The first one is the Jeffree Star um, Magic Concealer in the shade C0. It's the white one. I use this to brighten when things are too dark. And then I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Fair Be Be Beige. Love this. Fits me perfectly. And would always repurchase. I have one setting spray, and it's actually not the all nighter one. It's the. It's one from Revolution. I just can't remember the name off the top of my head. But it's a glowy one that I know. Don't mind it. Don't hate it. Don't like it. Don't love it. It's an okay one, wouldn't repurchase. Almost done with it. Then for powders, I have two. I have the MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder. It's a pressed translucent powder. I use it when I use the foundations and the concealers. Love it. Or don't love it. I do like it, but I wouldn't repurchase. Then I have the Rimmel Stay Matte. It's marketed as a translucent powder, but on me it it gives me coverage, so I use it as a powder foundation. And also with this one, almost out. Do love it. Would consider repurchasing it when I need another powder foundation. Then for bronzers, I have two. I have the Wet n Wild color icon in the shade Sunset Striptease. Love this one. It's what I'm wearing at the moment. A little bit too harshly, but usually this is perfect. It looks quite dark, but yeah, it's lovely. The second one is this. The Body Shop Bronzing Powder, I have the lightest shade, use this as a contour in winter time, and yeah, that's usually the only time I'm wearing it. For blush, I only have in one, and it's the Wet n Wild Rose Champagne blush, and I reheat pan in this one. As you might see just right in there two three days or three days ago and I'm hoping I will have this done in maybe two three weeks maybe so this will stay in until it's done for eyeshadows I have this Nabla C or magnetic palette and I have my five these four and this one from the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. I have this one that's parched from the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette. I have two Urban Decay shadows. This top one here and this dark brown is from Give It To Me Straight from Colourpop. This is a Makeup Geek. This is a MAC shadow, and this is a mix of the Makeup Geek one and a ABH shadow. So yeah. My focus one is this... Oh, and this is also Urban Decay. It's from the Gwen Stefani palette. My focus shade is this... These two rows here, with the six square pans, and this top square pan. So all the big square pans are my main focus and yeah I'm hoping to finish at least three of them before the end of the year maybe four we shall see so yeah that's it that's my makeup basket for this coming week and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one bye